you guys it's Lindsay here and today I am sort of doing something new it's a video that um, I've never done before Abby and I didn't used to do them but um, I had such a successful January um, that I thought I would share all the things that I made in January some of these things I've already done videos on um, so I'll be playing some of that footage throughout this video to show you what it looks like on um, other ones that I haven't filmed or I don't plan on filming I'm gonna throw on my mannequin and you can see what they look like there but I thought it'd be a fun way to kind of recap the month and show you all the things that I have been making so the first thing is the top that I'm wearing and you can't see because the the shot is so tight but it's um, got the amazing sleeves that I am just so in love with um, and this is McCall's 7542 it has one two three four other versions and honestly I want to make all of the other versions they're all so cute I don't know if I'm brave enough for B which has these very dramatic sleeves but um, I think it could be a lot of fun in the right fabric and if I'm going to the right place like you probably couldn't eat dinner in those because your sleeve would just be in your food the whole time <laughs> but um this dress this top also can easily 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 become a dress or a peplum top um so don't feel like it's just going to be um a top i might make um one of these into like a sheath dress i can see myself combining the tunic bible tunic dress with these sleeves that would be a lot of fun but anyways we're not talking about plans we're talking about what i actually made so this fabric is i think i don't i'm so bad about writing down the fabrics that i get at joann's um, I got to get better at at least taking a picture of the end of the bolt, but I think it's like a poly lycra. It does have some stretch to it. Um, but this was in their clearance section. So I got it for like two fifty dollars a yard, um, and made just like something that I can wear to work, um, with just black pants and some ballet flats, super simple, quick outfit that has like some pizzazz to it. Cause I love those sleeves so, so, so much. Um, the next project you guys have all seen by now, it looks like I got makeup on it, darn. Um, it is the toaster sweater um, by So House 7 in cable knit from Cali Fabrics. Um, so yeah, I sewed up this project early, early this month. It was the So My Style project for January. So I got a head start on it. I'd gotten this fabric from Cali Fabrics probably in December it's sold out by now you cannot get it anymore um, but it's a nautica cable knit and it's backed um, with like a cotton so it's very very stable um, so yeah I love this I've worn it um, a couple times obviously because the makeup got on it <laughs> um, and yeah it's it's been really great I haven't got a ton of compliments on it but I think that's because it sort of just looks so ready to wear that people don't assume that I made it you know what I mean like it just looks like some look so much like something you would buy in the store that they that no one really says anything about it I will say th the downside to the toaster sweater and a, a knit like this is that when it rolls over your neck um, the, just the friction of it rubbing against your neck there is causing it to pill a little bit um and like I said when I because I put my makeup down this far on my neck I have to remember when I wear this to not do that that's why I've gotten makeup on it um but other than that it's incredibly wearable and I really love it it's very very warm which I haven't needed a ton of lately because we just haven't had any cold weather but for those couple of days that we have it's been really nice um this one I've just worn with jeans uh, I might have worn it with like some navy there's like a it's like a navy print um pant that like ankle pant that I got from Ann Taylor um next up is my blank slate patterns project um it is the tulip top basically literally 100% stolen um, from Sobon's version except mine has short sleeves so it was the theme for blank slate was recycle so um, I took an old top that I didn't like um, it was one that I had made and just wasn't very flattering and I turned it into this um, with so I used that top and then I also used some scrap fabric I had about half a yard maybe a yard of fabric left over um this fabric came from joann's originally it was 
maybe fall of 2015. I doubt they have it anymore. I feel like a lot of people went out and bought this though whenever it did come out. Um, but yeah, this is a fun project. I got to use um, all three of my sewing machines. I got to use my regular sewing machine, my serger, and my cover stitch. Um, so I always love getting to use the cover stitch. I got a lot of good practice on it. Um, and yeah, this top comes together super, super quickly and easily. Um, I want to make another version. Um, you can get the tulip to go in the front or in the back. And then there's also like many, many sleeve versions. So I could make another top and it totally wouldn't look like this one at all. So yeah, loved making this project for Blank Slate. Um, the next project comes from, so Art Gallery Fabrics was super, super kind and they sent me um, a couple of fabrics. One is the voil that I've been talking about um, lately. Actually, I have it right here. This voil here um, that is the, the name is escaping me. Oh, but um, and the designer is Katrina Rochella Voil Bird Songs Moon from Art Gallery. So they sent me that. I'm going to make um, a kimono top. We've talked about that before. But they also sent me some of So Caroline's new fabric. And at first, when I got it, I was like, what the heck am I going to do with neon flowers? Like, I don't know. This just, it was like, I'm... I didn't know about wearing this out in public. I didn't know about making it into a garment even. I was trying to think like what I could even turn this knit into. Like, okay, I can make it a skirt, but would I ever really wear a neon floral skirt? I'm not sure. It's, no, it's not something I would have picked up for myself. But when I came across um, M7517 in the new um, McCall's spring catalog, um, I was like, okay, I can make that into some really cute pajamas. So I actually made a pajama romper. And some of you out there might think that's a little bit weird um, to sleep in a romper, but I'm telling you, it is so comfortable. I mean, it is a little weird getting up in the middle of the night to have to pee and you're basically completely undressing um, to go to the bathroom. It was a little bit cold, I remember. But other than that, it was super, super comfortable. I lived in this for a whole day and a whole night um, and just really loved it. I even ran and I had to go to the pharmacy, which is like a drive through So I just put a coat on over this and wore this to the pharmacy drive through I didn't actually get out of the car. But, um, but yeah, it was great to just like throw a coat on and go out in it, it was fine because um, you're all covered up. But yeah, it's just really comfortable. It's really cute. The pattern was really easy to put together. It's just basically like a knit top with like binding and you have your sleeves and then you have your sleeve um, um, cuff and then you attach the top to the shorts and the shorts have a cute little pocket in the back which is impractical for sleeping, but it's just a cute design. And then the front of the shorts also have pockets. So this isn't a pajama pattern. It's like just a regular kind of athleisure type of pattern, but I made it into pajamas. So this isn't something you'll see a video on simply because I'm not gonna do a video on my pajamas. <laughs> I don't even know, like I'm not gonna go outside to film that. So um, I thought I would talk about it here. So here you go love this i'll get on the mannequin so y'all can see too and then the last one is the stash builder box pajama set that i made which i am obsessed with um it's these adorable shorts with the ruffle so i used all three fabrics um i used one for the bodice one for the shorts and then another one for all the different like accents so the bindings um there's a little pocket on the front and then the ruffle hem on the short and also of course the sleep mask because you can't have pajama set without a matching sleep mask um this is pattern m6848 and yeah this is super cute and comfortable i will say though the top is too big um i got the large or -er pattern size for the shorts and I should have gotten the smaller, I just bought both patterns, the smaller and the larger, and made a medium top instead of a large top. But I was thinking that I could, you know, alter it and make it work. But um, the arm size is like gigantic. 
I mean, it's not horrible. It's just, especially for bed, it's no big deal. But if I do make it again, I think that I'll spring for the $2 McCall sale at Joann's and get the medium size as well. So yeah, so those are my projects from January. Like I said, it was a very successful month and I had a ton of fun making all these things. I had a soccation, so I actually had a week off where I could do nothing but sew and cut out things and all of that. So um, that's how I was able to get so much done. But I wanna know what you've been sewing this month. So leave a comment um, to let me know. I don't know if you blog or vlog, but um, leave a comment with a link to that or um, tag me in like your on your Facebook picture um, or you know leave a picture on the inside the hem Facebook page or tag me on Instagram show me what you've been making I would love to see like maybe your favorite project that you've made from this month that would be super cool so yeah thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon bye